Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new Nike Air Max Plus 2013. I'll give you guys a quick look at the box here. The pair I have is a size 10 US and the colorway is Pimento, Reflective Silver and Black with a retail price of $180 US. I'll get these out of the box so you can get a good look at them. And as far as the 2013 Air Max is concerned, I think Nike has gone for a much more performance oriented Air Max shoe and that's not to say that the past models haven't been performance oriented. I think that they've just made a much larger effort to make the Air Max a more functional running shoe. And that's not to say that the past versions of the modern Air Max series have been bad running shoes. I just feel like they weren't the best running shoes, especially for the price. You could get much better shoes, not only from Nike, but other brands as well, than the Air Max, just in terms of performance. But as far as Air Max 2013 is concerned, they made a lot of improvements that I think make this a much more usable running or training shoe if you did want to choose to use it for that reason. As far as this particular colorway is concerned, it is the Pimento colorway, which is pretty much bright red. The entire upper is pretty much red, the entire Air Max unit is red, and the majority of the sole on the bottom is red as well. Whereas you're going to have a little bit of black accents with the actual dynamic flywire that you can see sticks out from the upper. You can kind of see it on the inside. It's probably hard to see on camera, but in the light it does pop. You have a little bit of black on the liner on the inside. The insole itself is black as well. You have this little strip of black here on the heel. And then of course on the outsole you have that little bit of black at the back of the heel. As far as the reflective silver is concerned, you have the reflective silver swoosh on the outside the small reflective silver swoosh on the toe, nothing on the instep at all, and then of course you have the Air Max logo here on the heel in that reflective silver colorway as well. So for the most part, it's a pretty simple colorway. Most of the colorways that we've seen so far of the Air Max have been pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and I think for the most part, it's a really, really good looking running shoe. I'm a big fan of this Air Max, much nicer than the past couple in my opinion. As far as what they've changed on the upper, it's a lot different from the last couple. It's made out of a hyperfuse upper, which is a combination of kind of synthetic materials fused to, heat fused to kind of like an open mesh material. There's very little hyperfuse in the forefoot and toe box area of the shoe. Even the midfoot features very little hyperfuse. Most of it's gonna be made up in the heel and ankle section, kind of providing that little bit of lateral support on the sides of the ankle, giving it some nice stability. And then of course the majority of the heel is hyperfuse as well. You do have that hard internal plastic heel counter as well. Um, like I said, the hyperfuse is pretty minimalistic. They only put it in the sections of the shoe that required some support just to keep it keep its shape. But uh, most of the support through the midfoot is going to be provided by the dynamic flywire system, which you can see takes up four lace holes on both the outside and inside of the shoe. Dynamic flywire, it allows, it's just like regular flywire, it's those fiber cables that they have going through there. And it kind of acts like a suspension bridge when you pull the laces tight, it kind of grabs the instep and outside of your foot, locking it in place. But because they're not locked down by anything, they're going to move around with your foot, making for that same amount of lockdown, but it's going to be a little bit more comfortable to wear. And of course the top two lace holes are going to be providing that lockdown with this kind of thicker hyperfuse section on the sides of the ankle. You do have the one little Nike hyperfuse swoosh on the instep as well. I'm not sure that I mentioned that. As far as the tongue and overall fit of the shoe is concerned, you will see them on feet later in the video. But just like the last couple uh, Air Max shoes, this does feature kind of like an internal boot on the inside. So it's very light meshing on the outside, but you can see on the inside there's a slightly thicker mesh boot that's really gonna lock your foot in place and keep it nice and secure. You can see the tongue has that hyperfuse Nike logo and then of course the Air Max logo in black. And then as far as the uh, the sole is concerned or the air full length Air Max unit, they went for kind of a more lightweight, more flexible design. There's less plastic and more air on the inside. And from what I can tell, there's a lot less pillars. So it's actually a lot more flexible than any of the past Air Max shoes, especially through the forefoot, which is definitely a good thing. That's part of the reason why I wasn't a big fan of the past Air Max shoes in terms of performance. They just felt really stiff and honestly weren't all that comfortable. But because there is more air in this Air Max unit, it should provide some pretty good cushioning and I'm excited to give these a try. You do have that EVA foam midsole on this shoe as well, just kind of as that first section, first layer of cushioning. And then of course you have the clear air, red Air Max unit 
which you can see right through is kind of cool. It really does look good on this particular shoe and it's different. It's the first major redesign of the Air Max bag that we've seen in quite a while. And again, it's much more flexible through the forefoot. They've also been touting that it's going to be a lot more lightweight than the past versions of the Air Max. And while it is lighter, it's still not a lightweight running shoe. It weighs in somewhere around 13 or 14 ounces, I believe. So as far as lightweight running shoes are concerned, this isn't one of them. But if you're comparing it to the past versions of the Air Max, it definitely is a little bit lighter. As far as the outsole is concerned, it is that waffle skin outsole where you have this kind of very classic Air Max, well it's not classic, but it's that Air Max waffle skin sole you've seen on there. It's going to provide good traction on all terrains, and it is Nike Plus compatible, so if you do have that Apple Nike Plus chip, you can slot it on the inside of this particular shoe and track your stats. That's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion is concerned, and we'll move on to what they look like on feet. Here's a look at the Air Max 2013 on feet while wearing a pair of shorts. One is laced up normally while the other is left unlaced. Just depends on how you like to wear them casually. As far as wearing them unlaced is concerned, they do have that internal boot on the inside. So they're not gonna feel like they're moving around on you if you do like to leave them unlaced, which is something that I do pretty frequently. As far as how the new airbag feels on this shoe, it definitely is a lot more flexible. And you can tell that they've removed a lot more of the pillars on the inside of the shoe. So it has a much more softer cushion to them. Um, actually does feel like you're walking on air and for the most part they are very very comfortable shoes That's pretty much it though as far as how they look with a pair of shorts And I'll give you a look at them now with a pair of pants Here's a look at the Air Max 2012 on feet while wearing a pair of pants again one left unlaced the other one laced up normally I think they look good either way and as far as wearing these with pants is concerned It's a very simple design on the shoe. It's pretty much one straight color with a Nike swoosh So it's just a matter of picking the color that you like best and matching that up with the rest of what you're wearing. As far as sizing is concerned, I feel like it's different from the last two models of the Air Max. The 2012 and 2011 kind of fit a little bit small in my opinion. So I went with a size 10, which is a half size larger than what I normally wear in the Air Max 2013. And I found that they fit more true to size this time around. So if you are gonna wear them as performance shoes, I definitely recommend going true to size. And if you're gonna wear them as casual shoes, you're gonna have a more comfortable fit going half a size up. Um, I'll give you guys a quick look at the details on here because they are awesome on feet. I really like the look, especially in this pimento colorway. I know it's bright, it's not for everybody, but I love red shoes for whatever reason. But that's pretty much it as far as the on feet portion is concerned, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my review of the Nike Air Max Plus 2013. I love the new and improved airbag Nike has implemented here. It's nice and flexible and for the most part provides a little bit more cushioning. I love the inclusion of dynamic flywire and for the most part, I think it's just a really good looking shoe. As far as getting a pair of these for yourself is concerned, I will have buy it now links on the review page of my website, which you can find linked down below in the description to all the colorways that are currently available. As well on that same review page, you're gonna find the high quality images of this particular shoe that'll give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person as opposed to the online stock photos that don't always give a true depiction of what the shoe actually does look like. Other than that guys, if you have any questions regarding this shoe or any suggestions for shoes that you would like to see me bring in, feel free to leave a comment down below and if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated as well. Other than that guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is Josh, just like this channel name, minus the two. So if you wanna look me up or again, just go ahead and click the link down below in the description, that'd be great as well. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.